In this lecture, we are going to discuss different surface landmarks of the pectoral region. So, let us get this started. First of all, we will discuss the supraclavicular fossa and the infraclavicular fossa. So, if you see here, this one, this is the clavicle, also known as the collar bone. And below you will see the muscle and that muscle is actually called the pectoralis major muscle. Pectoralis major muscles. Okay. And at the other side you will see the presence of the deltoid muscles. Here is the deltoid muscle. And below you will see the presence of the humerus bone humerus bone okay so first thing which you have to remember that there are two fossa supra and the infra one that is actually present above the clavicle and one that is actually present below the clavicle so the fossa or the depression that is actually above the clavicle is actually called the supra clavicular fossa okay and below you will see the presence of the infra clavicular fossa so below you will see the presence of the infra clavicular fossa or you can say indentation okay so basically infraclavicular fossa is surrounded by three most important components first component is the pectoralis major second component is the deltoid muscles and third component is the clavicle itself so basically if we look at the different plane so here are basically the two most important plane medial and the lateral and you will also see the presence of the superior and the inferior so pectoralis major is actually present at the medial side of our body and the deltoid muscle is actually present at the lateral side of our body and clavicle is actually present superiorly. So basically this triangular infraclavicular fossa is surrounded by the pectoralis major that is actually present at the medial side, deltoid muscles that is actually present at the lateral side and the clavicle that is actually present superiorly. So that is the important thing which you have to remember about the infraclavicular fossa and you can easily palpate both these fossa and next we will look at the two most important component of the scapula so scapula okay two most important component this view is actually the front view of the scapula and here is the back view of the scapula so this bone is actually the scapula okay and it has two most important component first here in the red color this process is actually called the coracoid process that is the important component of the scapula and it has another component that is called the acromion process. Okay. So, if you look at the coracoid process, coracoid process is actually present below the clavicle. So, here is the clavicle, clavicle bone that actually make joint with the acromion process so clavicle is actually present above the 
coracoid process. Coracoid process is actually masked by the deltoid muscle. So, deltoid muscles also overlap the coracoid process and it is actually present below the clavicle and important thing that coracoid process is actually palpable deep palpation of the coracoid process can be happened so that is the most important thing about the coracoid process okay next if you look at the back view of the scapula so in the back view you will see this way this is scapula okay and this is actually the acromion process back view of the acromion process and here is the clavicle that actually make bond with the acromion process of the scapula that joint is actually called the acromioclavicular joint okay and last this way is actually the coracoid process so acromion process makes joint with the clavicle okay and it will move at the posterior side of the scapula and when it moves it forms an angle and that angle is actually called the acromial angle turning point of the acromion process and from the acromial angle it will move a posterior side of our body and at that side you will see the spine of the scapula spine of scapula just like we have also a spine in our body with respect to the body similarly scapula if we consider scapula as a body so similarly scapula also has a spine just like we have so that is the important thing acromion process will be continuous with the spine of the scapula that is the important thing about the acromion process okay so here are basically the different things which we discuss in this lecture that is supraclavicular fossa infraclavicular fossa and two most important component of the scapula acromion process and the coracoid process if you still have any question you may ask in the comment section thank you so much